Well hello and welcome to Jimonism Total Nourish Channel. We're building a little bit on our car here and I'll just show you some changes I made. Uh, so I added a little bit more features here. I moved the suspension to the middle so we get a more stable movement is the plan anyways. Uh, minor change. But then there is a larger change making. Uh, I added, I made back wheels steering as well. So that will give us much more maneuverability. And uh, well, we plan to combine that with, uh, let's see, the clutch thing. Uh, it's a bit heavy on the engine, but this engine is much smaller than the one we want to have. But uh, this lets us do some really fast maneuvers. So what we want to do uh, today, you know, we have our suspension and we have our maneuverability. Uh, we want to install the, uh, what to say, the clutch steering mechanism thing. So that's what we're doing. Right, spawn it there. Now, what, how did I wire it up last time? <laughs> so anyways, we want, I wonder if I should use a minus system or just a multiply or maybe a not signal. Let's say a not signal combined with, uh, okay. When we press A and when we press D, Oh no, uh, it's reverse, right? So we'll just have a simple kind of system. Maybe multiply. Yes. So, gates. Um, gates, we go to... Wait, this is the... That's the backward. That's, ah, no, that's the fix for the... Yeah, and this is the... Wait, what is this? This is the throttle. Yeah, no? Wait. I hard to remember what everything is. Or did I already wire up? Did I? Whoops. Did it, mm. Deploy, okay. This is the fix for for the display. These are the engine power, yeah. And that's to be controlled. Yes, okay, good. Uh, then I wonder why did I wire up the clutches? The clutch is wired up directly to the yeah, the braking system, that's right. So we need to do a little bypass here. Uh, Artemic add. We'll need one of the smaller models. So, we're installing this system. Let's do a little island here. Backside front side so okay here we have them oh wait now this is interesting here uh, we need to have four of them just because we need to combine it with the braking system like that 
that. Whoops, that's a bit. That's a worse. I love how they almost only get to where you point. Kind of interesting. Oh well. Left clutch to this one, right clutch to that one. And we have left clutch to this one, and right clutch to that one, right. So, when we brake, this is the front brake, this is also front brake, and this is the back rear brake, this is also the rear brake, yeah. Oh, no, wait. Um, yes. So we want everything to clutch. Uh, now I thought I connected up the brake, which is wrong. Uh, we want to activate clutch uh, when we use brake. So we use brake on space. So all of them need to be connected to space. Or actually, we can do like this. I connect them to space. Okay, great. Right. We might also want to activate the clutch when you use handbrake. Or it's uh, when we use handbrakes, it is the back wheels only braking, I think. Well, we'll find out, but um, I think so, and that's an alternative. So we want to use clutch for back side. Okay, now we come on to the part, and uh, now we've done the bypass, and now we want to use a multiply type of system here. And this is for turning left and right, so we'll add this system right below here. There we have it. Value plus multiply equals two. And this is value plus ACM. This is the fix for the display model. I don't remember what this does. This is the backwards thing. This is going backwards, right? I think pod controller times value. Yeah, and this is the throttle, maybe. It's <laughs> so hard to, to remember what it should be. Uh, it's very hard to remember what uh, things are. Equals to two. What is this? Sorcery. Um, so, anyways, yes, uh, let's just continue here. Oh, we can rotate this. I didn't know that. Well, now we know that. Um, now we want to wire this thing up here. So, multiply is times one and when we turn okay so uh, w when this is the left side so we wired left side to oh no that's wrong plus oh no it's not left side goes there right side goes there So now we can activate right side's clutch when we want to turn the right side clutch when we want to turn right, is it? Yes. That's right. So this gets wired to D and this gets wired to A. All right. So 
So we get into this thing here. And now we can see that the left side is the only one spinning. If we break like that. And if we now start going to the left, we can see that the right side is only spinning. Okay, that seems correct to me. Well, see if it works then. We can just save this little thing here. Right. I think we have more control. Oh yeah, this is nice. Combined with the backside steering, this is just awesome. The steering right now is superb. I think it will go down uh, as our engine gets heavier. Because we want more force. We built a system that you know, works excellent with force. I just try to go to the higher gears. You can see we lose a lot of power when you do turns like this. But well, I think we are on a good way to the next level steering. Oops. Oh, no, we need to test the brakes though. We, we added clutch for the uh, all this uh, all parts when we click the big brake and that's true we stop but no engine stop so what if we use the handbrake we can hold the handbrake we see the front wheels are spinning the back wheels are not spinning and that's excellent that's exactly what we wanted now when we use the handbrake the engine doesn't stop but we still get the braking effect we want so we can you know do cool things like this nice right so next part is to put a bigger engine into this thing whoops Yep. Let's just see I saved the good old thing. Did I? It's hard to see. Let me try to save it. Save. File successfully saved. Cool. let me see here I can't see it that's kind of weird okay so we we says we'll now call it car s okay great it showed up right it seems to be working I'm just gonna check if uh, we have the argumented steering or what we should call it yep and that's nice and if we use the handbrake we can see only the back will stop spinning, but the engine is okay.
Nice. Well, we are sh sure making a nice car, I believe. Actually, let's just, uh, without selecting engine, let's just strap on a bigger engine and see what happens. Right, so I'll just remove this thing. And we're going to ACF menu to look at a bigger radar. No, engine, yes. And I don't want to use the extra uh, extras engine. Can be hard to guess which is which, though. But uh, oh well, that's wrong. I two, well V twelve. I don't know, seven liter. That's one of my old favorite engines. Nope. How heavy is it, by the way? 300 kilos. Could be worse. Okay, I'll we'll just put the engine hovering around there. Do a quick weld. Link it up to the gearbox. Activate on that one. Throttle on that one. Pretty heavy. Has a nice sound. Sixty, we can remain in control. It's apparent. Okay. Oh, I accidentally turned on off the engine. What you kind of can ride in seventh gear. Uh, we do. <laughs> need to change the final drive for this one for sure whoops all right we actually have a little bit problem of controlling the vehicle almost too good turning I think it has to do much with the weight placement though well this is clearly not a suited engine I think maybe one of the rotary engines would be great for this design but we'll continue to develop this little project, so I'll be catching you in the next episode of Steamodism. Trying to build the next level ACF car. So, see you around, Steamodism, signing out.